Hello, so here the request is to basically create a random image generator where you have a set of images and they're displayed randomly for each user. And you can either save the random one for later or kind of get your own one. So how would this work? First, we're going to go to data types, create a new data type. For us, we're just going to create profile images. So everyone gets one out of a few randomly selected profile images. So each profile image will have an image. And then each user will have a, a standard image, which is just an image. And then also, uh, we call it uh, own image, which is also just type image. So first, let's create a place where we can upload some images as the admin. We have a picture uploader and a button to upload. We're just going to populate the database quickly. Okay, it was a little fast. Okay. It was so fast that I didn't add a workflow. So we create a new thing called profile image. It's type image is a picture uploader's value. And then afterwards we reset the input. Try again. See underneath app data. Yes, we've got the three photos from just now. Okay, so then we have a button and create a random image. This could of course also be something triggered when we go to a new page the first time, like the profile page, or click a certain button the first time. So what it's gonna do is make changes to current user and the Standard image of the user becomes to search for all profile images, random items, image. And then the users get it. Instead, of course, if we didn't want to associate with a user, but if I, with a new kind of thing, like an item, then we could um, put that in a group. And so instead of changing the current user, we change the current groups items image okay and then we want to display it somewhere so for example here we have an image which just shows the current user's own image but if the current user's own image is empty we instead show the current user's standard image and then they can basically a button use my own image or uh, use given image and use given image basically makes changes to the current user where the own image is empty and use my own image uses another picture uploader B which just changes the current user current things own image to the picture of the piece value. Okay, let's try this in action. Create random image. So we've now got the random image. Then I, for example, upload my own image. I click use my own image, it's here. And I can click use given image again to get back. That. Or we can create another random image. Create a new random image. I can instead use my own image, which is, for example, this. I can upload it, or I can use the given image, which was the first one again. Okay, so we can basically use this process to give users randomly selected images, which we pre-uploaded before. 
And of course, this does not only work with users, but also with kind of items or new data types you've created, which have type image in them. Hope this helped you. For short tips on Bubble, check clipless.com. You can also add your own tips there. Many thanks. Cheers.